guys, welcome back once again. For those of you new here, hello, welcome. My name is Evie and this blind pimple on my chin, her name is Susan. Now that I've got the introductions done and out of the way, we're getting back into our franchise zoo. I just want to say thank you to everyone who did comment and shared the love for this zoo. I'm excited for it. Let's get in. I'm hoping my computer doesn't crash because it's going, going through a weird phase where it likes to crash with Planet Zoo. So hopefully we can get a nice little bit done today before my computer decides and no no no. So let's get into this. We do want a nice kind of eating area, I think, to get started. I've got it on pause because I am notorious for letting it run and forgetting about it, then my zoo turning to absolute crap. So let's let's press play anyway. Now the guest happiness doesn't actually seem too bad. Like they are a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty, but the toilet's fine, the education is trash, but that'll go up as the zoo gets better. So I do believe I do be wanting, um, I was thinking about actually changing the, that, but now like the more I think about it, the more I'll probably end up just placing like a flooring tile over it. I mean, let's keep it in the nice like woodish theme, shall we? Yeah, like that's cute. That's funky. It's a little bit f fresh. I don't know how many times I say that. I need a counter of how many times I say it's nice, it's funky, it's fresh. But let's get into this. Let's chuck in... No, we'll go... Facilities, guest facilities. We'll chuck in... Ooh! Let's go a chief beef. Let's go classic. Oh, the pangolin's about to mate. Ning, you better get it going. Okay, let's chuck in... Chief beef. We'll go chief beef. Wow, I can't even talk. Chief beef there. We'll throw in a milkshake just beside it. I know that technically they've already got, like, their toilet needs filled somehow. I don't know how, okay? There is no toilet here, so I'm not sure how they are actually fulfilling that need. I think that'll be fine. You know, I do need to chuck in some ATMs so we can get some cash money. Now that I think about this, actually, I think I do want to move that, like, why would you do that? Why? You are killing me right now, Path. Why would you do that to me? Okay, but we can, it's, it's an easy fix. Easy. Done. Finito. I do believe I need to connect these up, though. Come on. Toilet? Why not? Hot diggity dog. Okay, now that I've changed my mind on one thing, I'm going to end up changing it on all of them. The ATMs are going to go over here. It's nice, it's different, it's unusual. I like it. I do realize that this looks like a box, so we might actually have to change a couple of things, or it's just gonna be a box and we're gonna have to accept it for who she is. Um, so let's try and line this up with, I think that will be the best option for us. Lining it up with these will help. Keep it all even. Whoops, okay, well, I'm just in the trees. See, that's not gonna quite work for me, is it? Hot diggity dog, you know? Hot diggity dog. And now that I've seen that there's like a perfect spot for some ATMs over there, you know I've changed my mind and I want to put them over there. How people start building with a plan is absurd to me. Like, I could never. Like, sure, I've got a rough idea in my head what I want it to look like, but whether or not that's actually what it's going to turn out like, we will never know. <laughs> okay, let's do... Do that. Now, I know it's weird. I will accept that. I don't make things that look normal, and they usually turn out like a box. I do not. Building is not my strong point. Sure. I might be better at building habitats. By much, probably not. But I'm just here to have a fun time, you know? Okay. I was about to restart my introduction. No. I ended up taking a small break. I had to go grocery shopping. I then got so confused as to what I was wanting to do. But here we are. This is... My little food court area, the new world. Now that I've placed it there, I'm kind of wish that I'd had it off to the side a little bit. I might even do that in a little bit just because it is going to frustrate me if this gets too congested. But it is okay for the time being. I don't want to fiddle with it too much more as I do not have a ridiculous amount of cash. So I'm going to leave it at that. I kind of got excited and went a little bit overboard with some of the decorations things. I'm not too cash heavy at the moment. But here we are. This is just a nice little uh, drink and food and toilet as you walk in. I mean, you probably could put an information center there. But we just go in. Uh, to your right is a toilet, a vending machine. Now, I can't remember who did that vending machine, but it is on the workshop. I will leave it linked down below. I did not create that just straight up. I'm putting it out there. 
Oh, we've got two little ATMs, a cheap beef, a cosmic cow, I think. Uh, some more seating inside, as well as this sassy frog over here on um on this one. Like, I don't know, whoever designed this frog, props to you. It's sassy and I love it. And then you just go out here onto the kind of eating area. Obviously, when the zoo gets a little bit more filled, it will look a little bit more kind of complete and not like you're just looking out over a barren field. But yeah, I tried my hardest to block spots with chairs and bins, so hopefully people won't be glitching through here as much. By the looks of it, it's kind of working. I mean, they're going to glitch through that ever so slightly, but that's going to be inevitable, really, by the looks of it. Now, keeping in the semi-tropical theme, I'd like to, like, surround that in a lot of plants and make it look nice and dense, like it's kind of in a rainforest, but of course, I can't do that when I've only got $16,000 edus. So we can either just let this play out a little bit. How are we doing for cash money in here? Two grand, two grand as well. Hopefully that's all okay. Let's see what's going on in the animal trading center. I do want another little herbivore. Ooh, I could put in a nice little exhibit animal. Like that could be a fun way to go. Maybe we'll do one more animal and then we'll go on to exhibit. I think that might be a smart, smart play. I would like to eventually do something along the lines of like a reptile house. I think that could work well. And if that is the case, I don't want to put in any of the reptiles yet for obvious reasons. So let's go the beds to pair. I feel like there's not going to be any good ones here. No. Ooh. You are okay. I'm going to grab you. And there's only one male. And you're not... In the nicest way possible, you're not great, are you? And it's a frontier one. Of course it is. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's dandy, it's cotton candy. But whereabouts do we want this? I feel like we could potentially lead it off kind of this way and have another habitat over here. I think that might be the right way to go. Also, for anyone that is not familiar with the controls with this, if you hold down control, you can place some, um, it doesn't automatically snap to the path, so you can place it pretty much wherever you'd like. Yeah, that looks smoother and nicer, but I will have to, in fact, uh, you know what, I'll just delete that one. I wouldn't be against chucking a path of like, we'll go back to four. No, see, I don't want it to go two. Ah, okay. How steep is that? Like that kind of looks really steep. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> okay, so let's think about this. I don't think they need too much space. Actually, let's get the animals into. We're about to have Oh my god, I thought that was mine, and I was like, did I end up buying three goddamn? Mm. It's totally fine. Ooh, I do have one from my previous zoo. No, I won't do that. Let's pause this because I do want to see the pangolin have a baby. Let's go check out our beautiful little bambino. Okay, let's let's watch this. I feel like they can only have one per per mating session? Birthing session? I don't know the correct term. But I think they can only have one. I'm just double checking that there's not a little baby one somewhere. No, here we go. The baby ones, I will admit, so goddamn cute. <gasps> there we are. Look at it. It's a gold standard one too. Oh my god. Why are they so cute? That's illegal, right? You can't actually be that cute. Ugh. What's his name? Leon. And it's a pretty decent animal. Ugh, hot diggity dog. Okay, ooh, we have a little reward. Okay, so let's chuck in the barrier, shall we? I think potentially I'll just go with the concrete one for the time being. I need to see. Whoops, I did not mean to place that there. Um, the beds to pair, what kind of height can they have here? It can be as low as one meter. Okay, so that's all right. I can have that relatively low, which is very handy when it comes to doing this kind of style one. Okay, I think I like that kind of shape. It's nothing too fancy, really. Mm, I might even try and move this in a smidge. Like, I think I want to have a nice little peaky hole here. So let's chuck a one-way glass. With that being the case, I might have to change... Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? I might have to change these ones to actually just one my glass. I think it could be a little bit out of control. I do actually quite like chucking the cement pillars back in it if you're going to keep cement. I keep calling it cement. Concrete. 
I don't want to state that I don't actually know the difference, but I don't know the difference. So it seems like I can't actually get it any closer there, but I think I can probably just fill it with rocks. But I'm feeling that maybe, maybe I'll chuck the habitat gate just there. I wouldn't mind having this as their little sleepy area though. Let's do some terrain manipulation soon. Where does the water come to? Water comes to there. So if I have this as the actual water area, that could work. Because I think they do actually need a substantial amount of water. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting confused, but for some reason I thought that they did. Mm, I kind of like the look more of, like that's just too small. Hot diggity dog. Okay, for one, I want to get rid of the long grass. That is just infuriating to look at sometimes. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to do terrain manipulation, it can be really hard to actually see what you're doing. Okay, now back to the terrain man manipulation. Maybe I can. Not that big. Let's take that down to like a 40%. Okay, I don't mind the look of that, but whether or not that is too much of their space, I'm not too sure. I think I just want to touch up this little bit here ever so slightly. Yeah, let's do that. And you know it's going to get added eventually. I don't need to specify exactly what's getting added, but I think y'all know what's going to get added. Might get added just over here. I feel like that could be a nice spot, like right at the start. Um, I'm pretty sure they really like the nice tropical kind of biome. I'm not 100% sure of their stuff and their fangs. So let's get, before I get too ham on it, the quarantine should be passed, right? Now I do feel like I could make a nice little bit of hard shelter there. I don't know if I necessarily want a nice natural kind of looking barrier like that one. So I don't care if their habitat kind of hard shelter is constructed. Before I get too excited and start jumping the gun, let's actually see how much space they need. Okay, that is plenty of water space and plenty of space for them, which is nice. They also need South Central America with tropical grassland and temperate. So let's chuck that into our little nature continent, South Central America, and we've got grassland, temperate, and tropical. Beautiful. But while we're into construction, shall we? I just do really like that Arctic roof. Even though it doesn't really necessarily go. And I did say I was gonna do the new world. I have a problem at the moment. It's not a bad problem, but it is still a problem, nevertheless, um, of me just wanting to make every single, every single thing that I have a dome. Well, I say I use the word dome very loosely, just to clarify. Um, maybe I could put, maybe we'll give that a, a go. See how ridiculous that looks. That is like almost perfect. God damn it. It's just gonna look a lot more even and symmetrical if I do it this way. Actually, that could have been cla class, cool as glass, but hmm, I mean, it's wood now, so we're just gonna have to commit to it. Although, is there a. I know I said I wasn't going to put that into glass, but now that I've got this far, I'm kind of like, you know what? Maybe. <laughs> is there a round? Is there a circle of glass? No, but there's like a hexagon. Okay, it's not like millimeter perfect, but I really don't think you're going to be able to see that much. Once I move it. Like it kind of gives an unintended pattern there that I'm not 100% mad about. I do believe that that should be enough hard shelter for them as well. Let's just quickly check. Hard shelter, yes. Let's fix their terrain for them. They need more soil, less short grass. So that should be an easy fix. I'll just, um, boop, 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 boop. Boopity boop. There we go. They're much happier with that indeed. Okay, so I am not going to finish this little building here. I think I will do that next episode. I will, however, finish this little habitat for them as I do want them to be nice and comfy and cozy and I will worry about 
this whole roof shenanigans at a later date. Um, okay, so let's throw in some... Let's just chuck in the species to begin with so I don't end up getting anything wrong. Um, I like the idea of them of having nice, big, lush green. Yeah, give them nice and, like, a lot of bedding, even though really, theoretically, they can only have, like, a couple of things. What have I got? 21 grand. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, are they fully unlocked? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, okay, so let's... Oh, see, the foraging box is so nice, but it takes up so much space. <laughs> I could theoretically get rid of some of that water. Maybe I do want to do that. Maybe I will get rid of just a smidge of reno of water. I think that is, I think that is better. I think that's better space-wise, you know? I think that's, I think I'm happy with that. So let's go in and add. I think I want the foraging box, like, over here. That'd be cute. Right where people can kind of walk up and see it. Um, the plant screen. I like to put these down first and then um, decorate around them. Because I feel like it can make the habitat look a little bit more natural if you do it that way. Okay, that can go all the way over the back. I don't mind if that feed is over there. I feel like they're more than likely going to come to the foraging box anyway. I don't think they will need too much in the way of um, enrichments and stuff. I think this would nearly probably be enough for them. I hope so. Anyway, if not, I can add like a little fruit spike and stuff like that and bring it all in and make it funky, make it fresh, make it fancy. Uh, let's just double check that that is in the water. Yes, that will get connected. Power is not going to be over here, so I will need to fiddle with that ever so slightly, but let's get into their nature. I feel like I do want to make this relatively tropical, like they can have some acai? Is that how it's pronounced? I always forget. Temperate tundra tropical rocks? Maybe. Let's just see, shall we? I love how I just said to myself that no, I'm not going to have it as like a null barrier. And here I am, just putting rocks all around anyway. I might as well just have given them a null barrier. <laughs> you know, you know, I should have. I should have just stopped trying to fight it and just accepted it. Whoops, and that is going a little bit too much. <laughs> Onto there, okay. I mean, realistically, I'd probably want to put rocks over here as well. So let's just, um,. Do a little copying and pasting, shall we? I don't mind the thought of having that little bit over there concrete as it is, like, where the keepers are going to come in and stuff. Okay, let's get into that nature, which was South Central America. We'll also go in grassland, temperate, tropical. Bang, bang, bang. Some giant lilies are actually kind of cool. I feel like I don't use them enough because I feel like they take up potentially too much space. <laughs> Mm, I don't think I do like them now that I've seen it. Is there just the regular lilies? No, there is not. Hmm. <laughs> I will, however, give them a mangrove because mangroves are some of my favourite in this game. Yeah, over there. Noise. As well as I really do think I want kind of palms. Like, I think I'd really like to go that real tropical vibe. That tree is actually really nice. I don't know why I haven't used that one before, but it might be because it's massive. Throw in a couple of, what are they, Swiss cheese plants? I don't know. Just, there's something about the name of that that just makes me really happy. Like, I do believe the common term is monsterias, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, apologies if you guys can hear that weird noise now. I have no idea what is happening. Okay, I think that might be the beds to pair habitat done and dusted. Like, I think that should be enough coverage. Let's just double check. Yeah, we've got plenty. It's already on the screen. Uh, can I move this over just like a smidge? Or can I even lower that into the ground? Yeah, I can, but I don't think I want to. Um, have they got enough enrichment and everything along the lines of that? Yes. Nutrition, it'll just be their last meal quality, which is 100% A-OK. -okay. I'm going to just quickly chuck up some uh, donation boxes. I will worry about the information and education at a later date just because... I think this episode is going to be getting remarkably long and I don't want to have them too long at the moment as I do want to keep them around the 20 minute mark so hopefully that is what <laughs> I have managed to do here but we will see won't we. Okay I'm going to worry about uh, this little bit here in the next episode as well as I will worry about 
the how much space do they have now that i've got excited about it ooh, only like just enough space they've got plenty of water still so i could theoretically get rid of some of that if i needed to let's add that to the work zone before i forget um are we going to i just feel like i feel like they're gonna stand here and pretend that they can see them i think theoretically i am at yeah, they surely they can't, but they're going to pretend they can and we'll just have to accept it. But let's go look at our cutie, shall we? Okay, but I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I do apologize that I didn't get the beds to pate yeah birds to pair habitat completely 100% finished, but I will tweak a couple of little things in between now and the next episode so you do not have to watch me do the the little tweaky bits that are a little bit frustrating to watch. I hope you guys did enjoy this as well. I will have the blueprint for that food court up on the workshop and linked down below if you guys are interested in it. It is nothing special, but in case you guys can't be bothered building one yourself, I will make it available for you as well. But thank you guys so much once again for hanging with me today. I hope you guys all have a wonderful morning, noon or night. That is the way that I finish stream, not my YouTube videos. Uh, it's been a long day. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you do not miss out when I upload next. As well, I still haven't named this zoo. Also, if you want an animal named after you, just yell out in the comments. I'm happy to name any animal if it hasn't already been named after somebody after you. So yell out any name suggestions for the zoo and animals. And thank you guys once again. I'll see you next time. Bye!